is Dr. James, and today I'm just going to talk about um, these diode lasers. I bought a couple different types of diode lasers. And uh, we have one. This one is uh, unlabeled. It's supposedly a uh, 3 watt diode laser. And um, let's see. This one here is supposedly a 20 watt diode laser. And um, let's take a look. Okay. okay, so this is the 20 watt and this is the 3 watt. And supposedly, I was talking with my friend Colin who uh, built a uh, calorimeter to measure the power of these lasers and he says there, there is no single diode laser that's more than about three watts and I have, was testing these and I didn't see too much of a difference so uh, we might be going over to Colin's house today to test out his um, he made a video on um, how to make your own calorimeter and uh, we will see if we can test these two different lasers and uh, this guy and this guy and see what their actual power levels are. Should be interesting. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to head over to Colin's house and go take some measurements of our lasers. Should be interesting. Okay, let's get going. Got all of our equipment here. The seven watt. Yeah. Oh, you, you want to? Sure. I was gonna see what the seven watt looks like. Okay. Holy cow! It's burning. That's what the laser looks like over there. Get a couple scientists in a room with lasers and stuff starts burning. <laughs> video on this one. Well, so yeah, it's link to just that. a Peltier sensor that has uh, really thin copper wire uh, thermal glued to the front and then spray painted with black uh, ceramic spray paint. And so we can put current through that and heat it up with a known amount of power and then shine a laser on it and get a voltage op signal off of the Peltier junction and uh, calibrate the laser that way. Let it try. Oh, okay. um, so you have two lasers to test. Yeah. I have this that I used as my reference because DTR, whatever his name is, I'm just call him Dieter. Yeah. Had uh, pictures of the, the voltage, he had his power supply next to a power meter and a laser diode running the beam into the power meter, and he just took pictures at like every tenth of a volt or whatever. So you know like how much power you get out at a certain voltage and a certain current. And so that's how I what I used to calibrate this. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so that's, this laser here is, is your cal then. Yeah. But I thought, same guy. And, and you compared that to current running through your yeah, through the front of the uh, as well. your junction here. So we can look this up. Oh. This guy bit here. Wires aren't quite long enough. Got the meter here. Um, okay. And it should be reading about zero. Let's see. When I flip this on. Okay, it's going to go off scale. So that's about. Uh, says pretty high power there. That's close to 10 watts. I'm going to bump this way back. I'll have to wait for it to cool now. I'll flip this off a little bit. So now we're reading the voltage. And by the way, you can notice that the voltage is negative because I, I put red on red and black on black. Normally when you put positive on red, negative on black, you get cold on one side. So I'm adding heat to one side, so that makes it negative. Okay, this should work. Let's see where we're at. 
Okay, so I'm seeing about uh, one and a half amps at, at just under one volt. So that's about one and a half watts right now. And I'm getting uh, about 0.2 volts in the sensor there. Okay. So we'll kill that, send it back down, and then run a laser into it and see what we get. Maybe I can try my handheld laser first. This one, I, I, using my calibration, I think I get about two watts out. Um, so let's see here. Sorry, so that's off. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn this on and see what happens. Oops, I smoked the front because I didn't defocus it right. Yeah, I don't even know if mine has a defocusing lens. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Already, you can say that there's a significant amount of laser light coming off of the surface, which means it's not perfectly absorbing at all. Um, and the meter there is showing about a tenth of a volt right now. And also on the beam, if you if you look at the edge of the beam, you can sort of see a circular uh, occlusion, let's say, which means not all the beam is coming out, because I've got it so radically defocused. But pretty much made on the order of like a half of the power that we got out of here, but, but it's about a tenth of a, wa uh, a tenth of a volt. So what I would do is turn this on and fiddle with these knobs until it gets down to a tenth of a volt on the on the meter there. See how close we can get. Oops, there we go. Went a little bit past there. Okay, so we're one hand and about 0.6 volts. Uh, so that's about. 0.6 watts of power on the sensor, but then you have to correct for the reflection. And my initial calibration with this guy was telling me it was about 60% uh, absorption. Uh, so that works out, yeah, it's 0.6 watts on the heater divided by uh, 0.6, so that gives you one watt of laser power roughly. Uh, if I take the housing off of this thing and I can get more laser power out because I don't have it so wildly uh, defocused. Let's see. But we could do this one for fun to see if I can get it up there. Now this this one is really well heat synced and so this little housing heats up pretty quick. And uh, it does put out more power. So i got to be a little careful with this one. I might smoke it <laughs> pretty fast. First I just got to make sure I've got this defocused somehow. I think i got to go in. It's getting there. All right, I want to defocus it, but not so much that it starts getting occluded by the sensor uh, or by the uh, lens housing. Let's see if this does something here. Let's see how high this goes. I can already see this with my eye that it's brighter than the other one. All right, we're already up to more than a quarter of a volt here, and it's still going up pretty fast. And once the housing gets a little uncomfortably hot, it's already, I can feel it warming up. Uh, I'm going to stop the power because I don't want to burn out my laser. So we're still screaming upward there. I'm seeing uh, about 2.4 amps, and it's uh, just under, it's like 4.5 volts on the laser. So I'm going to probably stop this right here. So that's four tenths of a volt. Yeah, four two five four three. Let's let's call it. So this is a lot more powerful. Yeah, this is a lot more powerful. Uh, if I, let me grab a calculator here. Uh, let's see. So I think it's about four and a half volts. We could double check it. Uh, actually, we don't need to calculate the power of the laser quite yet. We'll worry about that later. Just write down the number point four two five volts there, and let's see what if we can match that using this power supply. I think I can get there, but it's a significant amount of power. Okay, oops, I passed it. Kind of sneaks up on you. Alright, it's right around that ballpark. 2.1 amps and uh, one and a half volts. 
2.1 times 1.5, so about 3.2 watts on the heater. And then we divide by uh, 0.6 for the for the reflection, and that takes me up to 5.3 watts. So five watts out of that guy. And if you if you go to the to DTR's laser shop and he's he's got this model on there with all the pictures of the power and the voltage and current uh, at that current level, you'll see it is about 5.3 watts. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's that's how I ended up calibrating this thing. But this one's noticeably brighter uh, than than this this laser. On incidentally, this one. If I if I run if I take this apart, let's see how do I take this apart? If I take this whole thing apart and I run it off the power supply directly, I can get more power out of it. I can get three watts out of this guy. Uh, this just comes apart, and I can just hook these guys up to a power supply and hold it here. And doing that, I can get three watts with these power supplies. Uh, this one though is supposed to get up to seven or even more if you cool it well. Oh, okay. You so don't want to burn it out, that's for sure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and it, it does, it, it did get warm. It probably got up to about 40C maybe there, which is about the max I'd want to go. So, all right, well, should we give okay. your lasers a try and see sure. if we can figure yeah. out how much power they've got? So here's the, the three watt one. Okay, and I believe this is the focus adjust on the front. Oh, is there focus? I didn't yeah. realize that. Let's see, uh, well, we're, we're at zero on here, so. I don't want to burn a hole in the Peltier Junction, so let's okay, go ahead well. and try to do that quick. Get okay. past that. Okay. I can also see that circular occlusion affecting the beam here. Okay, so uh, this is about... But it is doing... It's, it's moving, one. so that's good. 14.15... volts on this guy over here. And it's kind of topping out right around 0.17, let's say. Okay. Looks like about the top out there. All right, so using this laser pointer here, uh, we were able to get up to 0.17 uh, volts on the meter using this Peltier junction. I'm not going to repeat that experiment, but what I want to what I want to do is turn on this power supply now, and uh, and see if we can match the power. Uh, using that resistive heater on the front of the Peltier junction. So, let's see if we can get this up to 0.17. Oops, sorry, blown past it a little bit there. Okay, so that's pretty pretty much it right there. Uh, 1.25 volts, or sorry, 1.35 volts and 1 amp. So 1.35 volts and 1 amp is 1.35 watts. If we divide that by 0.6 for that correction factor of absorption, we get about 2 and a, two and a third uh, watts out of this guy. Okay, and they advertise that one as 3 watts. And yeah, they also advertise my laser is 3, three watts. So And what did that measure out? Uh, the same, two and, about two and, two, and a, 2 and a quarter on a, on a nice strong set of batteries. Okay, well in, in China maybe it, it measures 3 Chinese watts. watts. Yeah. yeah. Three Chinese it's like watts. Chinese horsepower. <laughs> my uh, my milling machine. Which, oh, yeah. which I think is much lower in horsepower than American horsepower. <laughs> All right. So you have a. You want to try your other laser? Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, in that box. So this one was supposed to be it's twenty watts. Touted as twenty watts, and behold, it looks the same as that one. So well, that one's got the batteries. <laughs> interesting. Internal. The other one, I, I think you got to pull the batteries out or something. Yeah, this one looks like it's yeah. got a USB charger yeah. and stuff in the back here. Again, uh, let's try to defocus this. Let's see, I take it it's the yeah. red button here. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that is not 20 watts. Let's see what it comes out to be, though. They'll probably uh, say, oh, we missed a decimal place. I meant 2 watts. And looking at the number on that meter, I'm going to guess it's more like a half watt. Holy cow. I think that's the one. I wonder that's if this is the one. Watts, right? Yeah, I maybe it's got a sticker around. on it. Oh, okay. Does that one have a sticker or on it? Maybe this one just needs to be charged. Oh, maybe. So, 0 0.05 volts, let's say. Oh, there's multiple power levels. Oh, well, that's cool. And then there's flashing that. It's interesting. Oh, okay. okay. So I guess this is a high power mode here. That was two presses. Well, that's cute. 
Okay, so this one might be up to about 3 watts then. We will see if it can get past 0.17. And again, I've, I've discovered the battery light, uh, the battery uh, charge level really matters a lot. So, if you can, if you have really fresh charge on them, it seems to put more power out than, than if it's uh, been used for a minute or two. Yeah, that's kind of stopping at 154. Oops. So, so it's a little bit less than 20 watts. <laughs> a little bit less. Uh, I think it says 20 watts on the side. Is that is there a sticker on that one? Let's see. Uh, yeah. There's a thing here. It says output power less than 20,000 milliwatts, otherwise known as 20 million microwatts. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Yes, indeed, it is less than 20,000. <laughs> That's more like a couple watts. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just if you assume things were linear here, you'd say 0.17 divided by 0.055, to be generous. Uh, it's like a factor of three lower, so that's looking like about, if you take your two and a quarter watts and divide by three, uh, whatever that works out to be, like 800 milliwatts, roughly. So that is a lot less than 20,000 milliwatts. But again, this might be better if it was if we fully charged it we'll right. see but yeah I still think the winner is this little module from DTR's laser shop I should put a link to it in my uh, description you should because this thing just this thing just blows the other ones out of water if it, uh, in terms of power they don't sell that on Amazon by chance do they I don't think so I think you got to get it through uh, through DTR's laser shop storefront oh okay so this guy is, yeah, last time we did this was rocketing up to, what, 425 or something. Wow. So. And actually, it depends on how hard I squeeze. I can see the current on my power supply. If I don't squeeze hard enough, <laughs> it drops down a little bit. So if I squeeze really hard, it seems to do a little better. But anyway, uh, I can feel the laser module heating up again, so I'm probably going to stop it here in a second. 4.3. Still got a little bit in there. Unfortunately, my power supply is limited to about 2.6 amps, it looks like, today. Oh. 4.4. All right, it's getting a little so uncomfortably what, hot now here. What's Ooh. the max power you get out of that one? <laughs> yeah, this one's supposed to go up to 7 watts, and supposedly can go beyond 7. Um, especially if you pulsed it, I suppose. But yeah, this thing this thing burns wood from uh, pretty far away. We'll have, to, we'll have to take a video of that next. <laughs> So this is the, the high power one that's uh, supposed to put out about 7 watts. It's still kind of hot because I just cranked it up to 5.5 or so. This one's supposed to put out 3. This one's supposed to put out 3. And this one says less than 20 watts. And indeed it is. We think it's probably more like uh, a little less than 1 watt. Uh, maybe it'd be better if a fully charged fresh set of batteries. But anyway, uh, let's see if we, what we can smoke here. Okay, anyway, some very cool stuff, huh? Everyone loves lasers, right? So this is part one of the uh, video, and um, I, um, my friend's going to make part two. Uh, he's going to show these lasers uh, burning wood and uh, testing them at a distance. And it should be very interesting. So um, I'll post an a end screen link to his, um, his video, and be sure to go over and check out his page. He's got a lot of interesting science stuff on that, and give him a subscription. And uh, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.